Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept cooling system in diesel generator. The, you, the mainly why we are using the cooling system if you are not maintain the cooling system in the engine what is the happen now we are discussing. The use of cooling system in any engine the use of cooling system in any engine engine inside some combustion is happening combustion is happening means more temperature will produce more temperature is will produce means some equipment will get damaged the equipment will get damaged so that we are using this cooling system you will save for that equipment and one more thing the cooling system if you are not maintained properly the losses will get more the losses will get more means the efficiency of this engine will get less and one more thing the temperature you will not maintain properly the lube uh, the lube oil viscosity it, the lube oil viscosity it will be reduced that is the reason to maintain the proper temperature of this engine you will get all this profit you will get advantage of these three the advantage of those points the cooling system in engines may be classified in two types of cooling system in engines air cooled system water cooled system the air cooled system mainly you are using for the bikes air cooled system nothing but this is the engine this is the engine this engine mainly you are using for the bikes the bike is moving the natural air is touching to this engine the engine will get cold that's why the air cooled system the air cooled system mainly available in bikes natural air is touching the engine you will get cold second one is the water cooled system the water cooled system may be classified in two types one is the closed loop jacket water system second one is the service water system the service water system mainly you are using a marine engines mainly you are using marine engines service water system is nothing but fresh water is coming heated the water is throughout again you will not use that water Every time fresh water is coming, that is called service water system. This type of system mainly you are using in marine engines. Closed loop jacket water system again may be classified in two types. One is the radiator type, second one is the heat exchanger type. Radiator type, this type of cooling we are using all vehicles. Above all vehicles, four wheeler, four wheel, four wheeler vehicles. For a car, lorries, all vehicles and diesel generator also we are using this radiator type cooling system with the help of that if you go for the uh, diesel engine some diesel engines they are, work, they are uh, cooling with the help of the radiator radiator type cooling system they are using means with the help of fan with the help of fan the coolant was cooled this system is called radiator type system. Second one is the heat exchanger type. Heat exchanger water cooled system. Water cooled system. Second one is the heat exchanger type water cooled system. The heat exchanger water cooled systems may be classified in two types. One is the plate heat exchanger. Second one is the cell or two heat exchangers. These two mainly you are using for the diesel generators. In heavy rating diesel generators, you are using a plate heat exchangers. A small rating, small rating diesel generators, we are using this cell R2 heat exchangers. This heat exchanger, how it will happen? Some plates is there. Some plates, water is coming and going. Some plates, water is coming and going. Some plates, coolant is coming and going. With the help of this water, with the help of this water, this coolant will get cold. That is called plate heat exchanger type cooling system. Shell R2 heat exchanger type is nothing but 
a big cell is there some water is coming water is going the inside one more tube is there in that tube coolant is available cool cool water is coming cooled that coolant hot, hot water is going again to cooling tower again to cooling tower with help of fans it was cooled with help of fans and natural rays cooled again cooling water is coming and hot water is going the inside coolant with the inside one more tube is there the coolant was cooling the coolant was cooling this type we are using a shell or shell or tube heat exchanger this uh, this pro, this way for cooling shell type this way thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my youtube channel